Hey, hey, good morning, everyone, on this dreary <clears throat> Tuesday, October 27th, 827 AM, 2021. And I'm going to do a flip up, look at it outside. It's dreary, dreary, okay? Dreary, right? Now, you can see I got the candles burning right over the circles on the book Necronomicon, okay? Castor and Pollux. <coughs> My guiding lights, my shining stars, <clears throat> okay, shooting star of God, cloud of God, the shinest, brightest stars in the constellation Gemini, the twins, okay, Castor and Pollux, give a perfect, help me out, and now I'm going to drop dime, I'm dropping, I'm dime dropping, so I put a dime there, and I'm going to ask you for a penny for your thoughts, I'm dime dropping, and I'm going to ask you a penny for your thoughts, because it's going to talk about Necronomicon. When you death know me, see, I'm a con, but when you're not a con and you're not asking for death and you get killed, there's a problem. And that's what I'm dropping a dime on and I'm going to seek a penalty, penalty, penny for your thoughts, okay? So I'm lighting a candle rather than cursing in the darkness. I'm going to do both, okay? You don't rather, you do both or you're unbalanced, okay? The fact that this, Twin Cities were considered ultimate feng shui, feng shui. Our country used to be filled with twin cities, okay? It's the danger is the curse and the false blessing that Balaam of Baal pronounced, and so much harder to get of, behold, the people shall dwell alone and not be reckoned among the nations, okay? It was a joke, like the jokes on you, Balaam of Baal, and Amen and Moab. This is the fact. This country was blessed because of the feng, feng, feng shui or feng, feng shui of Twin Cities. Okay. But during the evil Holocaust period, when we had a president, Nixon, who was a creep, elected by a rigged election that we could not touch. Okay. Genocide boy, death point advocate, absolute demonist, if not a demon. Okay. Almost all the Twin Cities were wiped out, okay? Minneapolis, St. Paul was protected because they had connections with the military and armed themselves to the teeth, okay? And were on vigil 24-7. The fact is, as I discussed Twin Cities, Philly and Camden were Twin Cities. It's absolute positive karma. Twin Cities are the best karma, okay? So what happens when you lose the city and when the twin kills the other? It's like Gemini. You get the grace of Gemini. It's Castor and Pollux. It's as if the stars talk to you all the time and you listen and you know what to do. This country was built on twin cities and Castor and Pollux karma. Perfect karma. Soulmates. It makes the cities eternal soulmates. So they constantly resonate off of each other. They bring out the best of one another, make each other the best they can be. It's like their Hera and Zeus. It's not Twin Cities, it's Hera and Zeus. Well, did you know this? That until the late 60s, there was a sister New York in New Jersey that was equally as big and almost bigger than New York City. Yeah! And did you know that to this day, there's still a huge walkway under the Hudson that I've, came, I've gone through when a subway car passed through there by mistake for me that runs under the Hudson River. There's this huge walkway back in the day that people used to walk from New York, New Jersey and New York, New York back and forth. It was this gigantic walkway under the Hudson. It's still there. It's all blocked off. Yeah. Another smoking gun. Find out. It's never, I, don't, I can guarantee it's never been undone. Huge walkway. I've been in there before. When I passed through, what did I see? All burnt up and graffiti where there had been a Holocaust because they destroyed and wiped out most and all of New York, New Jersey, and renamed it Newark. More wicked-ish that went on, okay? Trail, betrayal. What happened? The bad karma comes. So then you got the Twin Towers, which basically are the statement of the two New Yorks, what happened? They get shot down by the Muslims because of the karma of one New York letting the other get destroyed. And most of the people in the first New York didn't know, but the ones in power did, and even ruined out and did mind control on the rest of the people so nobody remembered. Yeah, this happened or happened. That's why you got the Twin Towers destruction because New York, New York, 
let New York, New Jersey get obliterated. Twin Cities, and they renamed it Newark. It was diminished, just like Camden, Twin City. So what, Philly just has nothing but sorrow. This has been a repeat factor. Way too many Twin Cities wiped out all over the country by the Klan and the far right. Okay, so don't ever wonder why I have so many hateful necromancy, death romancy, Thanatos romancy death notices against the far right because they did death knows me I'm a con to way too many people that had nothing to do with death had everything like living vibrant people and treated them like criminals and that was the travesty because the karma is a curse on every single person that took part in it most people that are alive now don't know anything about it I know and the New York New York controversy I barely caught wind of and it was something that they talked about and then all of a sudden it just died out. How there used to be two New Yorks, Twin Cities. Twin Cities was the rule in America because it's absolutely positive, good karma. And I hope I'm saying the Feng Shui, Feng Shui, it's absolutely supreme Feng Shui. Yeah, and you feed off each other, okay? You can call them sister cities. Zeus and Hera cities wiped out pretty much almost all of these. And they always, it was the thing where the, the traitor Diminish the one, totally nothing like a peasant, okay? Yeah, like a sadomasochistic or a show, it was like a move, like a chauvinist move. Like, you, instead of having a king and queen city where you're both um, feeding off each other, one envious one kills and destroys and diminishes the other down to nothing. Like, Cain cut Abel down to just a voice, like an oracle in Delphi. Like, as if you can still hear Abel speaking but in terms of a physical, like he's the phantom now. He's like Gordon Lightfoot in the song, If You Could Read My Mind, I'm Just a Ghost You Can't See, I'll Never Be Free. We have so many twin cities in America that have that status now, where the betrayed twin is now just like that song, A Ghost You Can't See. Yeah, and the ghost is wondering to the other one, the feelings, you know, I can't believe that, you know, what I can't understand is what? Your lack of feeling. You know, like you just did this and just didn't even care. And that's where a lot of the murders or rapes came from. Uh, so much of the superior seed women that were under, past the funds under the tum tunnel were murdered and, and raped by Times Square by too many of the elitists that ran and ruled New York. That's what I'm talking about. And that's where the danger of the reciprocal Holocaust is, okay? The danger and the horror. Way too many seeds went through that, okay? And that's why this Necronomicon, and I'm dropping dime on y'all, those whoever's left, okay? And penny for your thoughts, Castor and Pollux be a witness, because I'm doing this as sister, brother, sister, and I'm also on the God Particle Room, okay? That this just doesn't go unpunished, okay? Okay? Vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. As the God of heaven said, the Lord look upon it and require it. Because one sister city wanted to be jealous, so we had way too many kinds of destructions. The Lord look upon it and required. The Lord look upon it and hold this to account. Okay? As David said, Mine hand shall not be upon thee. Okay? The Lord judge between me and thee. So I speak for all the obliterated sister cities like Newark and Camden, and even up in Ohio. The same thing happened with Cleveland and whatever, the sister cities, whatever. Okay, same thing, sister cities, okay? I'll speak as David did to Saul. Mine hand shall not be upon thee. The Lord look upon this and judge between me and thee and avenge me of thee. As saith the proverb of the ancients, I speak against all the king, sister, and twin cities that attacked the able twin and sister cities. Wickedness proceedeth from the wicked, as saith the proverb of the ancients. But mine hand shall not be upon thee. Of course they can't, but I speak. Okay? This is what went on way too much. Yeah, way too much of this. In this area, all of New Jersey, my main thing I remember from seeing the death porn films was so many of the good, beautiful, innocent people that were murdered in this area, which is why this... Happy state, upscale class is now like middle America. New Jersey is like middle America. I'm dropping dimes on y'all in Jersey 
whoever's left that are corrupt ones, okay, penny for your thoughts, Castor and Pollux be a witness, okay, that we didn't, they didn't ask for this, no, they weren't talking around saying death know me, you know, I wish I were dead, okay, but way too many people took the light of murder, why, because the people were so busy living and seeking to live, they weren't thinking about dying, and there was no reason for them to die, and that's why the karma of murder is doomed. The karma of killing is doomed. The karma of shedding innocent blood and tears is doomed. The karma of genocide, homicide, fratricide, patricide, matricide, infanticide is doomed. Okay? It's doomed. Okay? The karma of killing is doomed. Thou shalt not kill, you shall do no murder. Okay? Not like Cain, who hated his brother and who was a murderer. Okay? Because he was of the evil one. Okay? So... Once again, I'll never forget the saddest scene I saw. And these are things that these creepy genocidal maniacs that are possessed and that are the power of the far right watch for fun. It's like they watch it like we watch baseball and football or like a normal dude will watch real constructive porn. They like this ish and it's not even sex. Saddest scene was one of the most beautiful, glorious men, a white dude, classiest casino operator, Always talked about Zeus and Hera, all positive, murdered everybody in his casino, and then hung him from the center of the ballroom. And I'll never forget watching him weeping as they hung him and he died with his red flashy blazer on in his casino that they destroyed right up here in this Jersey area back in that time when all the destruction went on, okay, crying. It was just, it was just really sad. God's going to get the people back. There's going to be a time of reckoning for all this murder and two-faced genocide they went on this country. Underhanded crap before the age of mass media. Oh, we got to get it in before the age of mass media. Then turn on the internet <coughs> and wipe every mind's body. It's as if the way the internet was used is as if it pushed, it was built and it ran right through the biometric signal power of the mind and body. 500 200 rather 20 to 500 hertz to force out your senses from even picking up the sense like normal people do what? That something, something, something ain't right, as Keith Sweat would say in his song. Something ain't right. You know, something going wrong around here. You know, something's rotten in Denmark. So you can't even get the read on things. When it's right in front of your face, so in the end, you're like Bugs Bunny when a gremlin has them run out the plane and you look like a complete total jackass. Okay, hee-haw, hee-haw. This is what's going to eventually happen in America when this stuff is revealed, okay? The Masons are at the heart of it as well, as I discussed, with things like their commitment and their sworn, avowed cruelty and apostasy toward white women, okay? That they claim we have to do to protect ourselves. It's just their way of protecting ourselves. With the marriage vow to give all you women that you think these dudes are so great and they're all up in politics, promise the white woman the sun, the moon, and the stars and give her the Necronomicon curse written against Ishtar, okay? Which shows the, the allegiance to Indra, which means doom, okay? In the abyss in my spirit realm, I watched Indra fall into absolute agony during the evening into the morning. She's still falling. She has lost her suspended animation power she had. She was literally the power of the under god of the... She was the real Damamu, the real evil dark realm god. It wasn't so much Damamu, it was Indira. It was Indira, okay? Yes, the Shaddai god is equal with God and fallen, okay? A vicious one-month battle in the dark realms is over and Indira is falling literally exponentially into deeper states of pain. If you're a mystic, you could probably hear her screams in the abyss. Yeah. Okay, she's getting paid back for all the sorrows from what she tried to do to Zeus, our creator, Zeus Yahweh, on down to all the teachings of her children, to the heartlessness of her greatest servant and son, Indira. Indra. Indra, which I've had to deal with once. He's, uh, he's something to deal with, okay? He's something to deal with. Yeah. Yeah, he's bad. He thinks I'm dead because I pulled a stunt to hide from him when he went searching for me when I was around seven-ish because he, he thought that I had killed... Somebody made a rumor up. Yeah, a prophecy, so... Yeah, and Indra was not, Indra's no joke. Yeah. So, these are the things this country's going to have to deal with and the world's going to have to deal with of what? Not being men of your word, okay? Way too much nonsense going on, okay? Once again, vengeance is mine. I will pay. 
as God said, is Yahweh Zeus, God of the Bible, God of the Greeks and Jews, to me belongeth vengeance and recompense. Not to Reginald or Wallace, but to me, Yahweh Zeus, yes. And I'm going to pull this picture up right here, and I'm going to finish. Yes, this same God who came to us and so strongly to teach us the ways of love and not fighting and killing that he showed up in bodily form, just as Christ did, but not in the flesh, but and showed and, and went through open lovemaking because what? He walked the path for us to follow, but you refused and you want to kill and murder instead. And the fact that he showed up like this to the form we have statues and of him all over is going to, it says as the gospel, ye are without excuse. There is no excuse to have a planet filled with shed blood and innocent tears when we had the beautiful, glorious God Zeus live the path along with the goddesses Hera, make a love to you in plain sight to teach you indisputably what he wants and told you. If you don't do it, I'm going to burn you up. And you'll still want to murder, kill, and shed innocent blood. And so guess what? You can all who reject his way will be with Indira in the abyss, okay? Since you find her endearing, her hateful ways, and enduring, and you're enduring in her ways of adding insult to injury and being endeared to shedding innocent blood and tears, and you despise him and her, Hera and Zeus, as I put them on my hood to show my love as Kaisil, you'll get, excuse my French, what the fuck you deserve, okay? Okay? And that's going to be on you. Whoever it applies to, whosoever, whatever, whatever, if the shoe fits, wear it, okay? But since you don't want this and the beautiful open love, and y'all choose to be treacherous, backstabbing, bloody murderers, and didn't even in the government, not many a word, whoever you are, you reject this, you'll get what Indira got, and you'll be in the abyss with Indira, okay?